Hi, this is Grinia and the last episode of FIADC News before the 2021 race. Let's roll! Today we'll see the full list of participants and new judges panel and where to watch the broadcast of the major drift race of this season, FIA DC 2021. So, the FIA Intercontinental Drifting Cup 2021 at Bikernieki Track in Riga, Latvia will be held this weekend on the 12th and 13th of June. This is one of the major drifting events of the season 2021. This year's FIADC champion will be the first winner of the cup held in Europe. The entry list and the new track configuration matches the high status of the race. Since the first episode, I've presented drivers from the FIADC 2021 entry list, but let's have a look at the full list. Drivers are listed by numbers. Of course, Georgi Chivchan tops the list as number one, because as the reigning FIADC champion, he has a target on his back. Unfortunately, the outstanding Polish driver Kuba Przygonski had to withdraw his entry, but I'm happy to see representatives of other European and non-European countries on the list now. Here is Swiss driver Joshua Reynolds coming directly from Formula Drift to FIADC 2021. Since he achieved a good score in the Pro 2 class of the American Championship, this year he competes as a pro. At FIADC 2021, Reynolds is gonna compete on the same car as Eve Meyer at FIADC 2019, which is Toyota GT86. The Czech Republic delegates two of its best drivers, Michael Reichert and Marco Zakuriel. These two hold lots of national victories and championship titles, but the most memorable one was Reichert's second place at FIA Motorsport Games 2019 and Zakuriel's victory in the King of Europe 2018. Michael Reichert is coming aboard his usual BMW E92 and Marco Zakuriel is driving a BMW F22. The entire drifting world knows the legendary Bikernieki track, but Latvia is also known as the motherland of Eurofighters, the special BMW vehicles built at the AGK workshop. I would be surprised if no Latvian Eurofighters had been present at this race. And of course, Kristaps Blush confirmed his intention to participate in FIA DC 2021 with his Eurofighter E92. We will also see Edgar Skrageris piloting almost a Eurofighter F22, but still, Edgar's used an aggressive HGK body kit, building his car on his own. Besides, Latvia was also represented by Ivo Tsiroulis, which makes a perfect Latvian team. Apart from these guys, Mozambican driver Zanil Sattar and Japanese Tony Arakaki have also submitted their entries and have been approved. Besides personal standings, we will witness the team's title competition. In the first episode of FIADC News, I told you about iMall Racing Team. Today, I would like to introduce you two new ones. Fresh out of drift, consisting of Damir Diatulin, Evgeny Losev and Jack Shanahan. And ACI Team Italia of Manuel Vaca and Massimo Kekin. It looks like the competition for the team's title will be just as intensive. Apart from that, there is some news from the judges panel. All of us know the challenges of today's epidemiological restrictions. For this reason, the panel of judges at FIDC 2021 will consist of European judges David Kalas, Vernon Svenwald and Ike Simonian. To our deepest regret, the judges will not be the only ones to be influenced by the current quarantine restrictions. The FIA Intercontinental Drifting Cup 2021 broadcasts will be available in two languages, in English and Russian. You can watch them on different platforms depending on your language preferences. The English broadcast will be available on Motorsport.com and Motorsport TV, as well as Facebook. The Russian version will be provided on the well-known RDS platform rdstv.ru. You can find the links in the description box below and you will see the race timetable in the final title. Now let me tell you about the qualifying line of FIADC 2021. To match the high status of the event, it is not an easy one. Right after the Furidashi, 
the drivers enter the long outside zone 1 that shall be filled from the beginning to the end at a high speed, followed by a transition on touch and go 1, then bringing the car through the inside clip 1 into the outside zone 2. This is the most interesting part, as the drivers have to be precise in the angle to reach the outer zone 3, with a little deceleration after the transition, then do a transition with a greater deceleration again and fill the outside zone 4. After that, they will make a little run in, make a transition, get touch and go 2 and, as they slow down, fill the outer zone 5. All in all, there are 5 transitions and 4 deceleration zones, you need to be a real top-class driver to adhere to this line, and here's some information about the race format. As usual, it will consist of qualifying and battle competitions. The driver's performance will be evaluated by the judges who are allowed to use any visual or electronic aids. In the qualifying round, the judges will split the score into the three criteria – line, angle and style. The right line is determined by the way the driver fills the inside clips, touch-and-go zones and outside zones you can see in the track layout. The maximum score for the line is 40. For the angle, the drivers can only get 30 points, and the maximum of 30 can be accrued on the style. The points for style will be split evenly between fluidity, 15 points and commitment, another 15 points. Commitment is the forward movement of the car, while fluidity is the motion of the vehicle on its own axis. But the main part of the competition is the tandem portion of the event. Drivers compete in head-to-head -head battles, with the high-qualified driver leading first. The judges will watch both run 1 and run 2, comparing lead runs to one another, then the following runs to one another to find the driver that was more dominant over both positions. Judges are looking for the driver that performs better overall in the tandem battle, but if the judges are unable to find a clear winner, a one-more-time battle is called. Each judge will score the battle individually, with a majority decision between the three determining the winner. No scores will be announced until both competitors have completed both their leading and following rounds. The goal is for the both drivers to be fair to one another, drive a clean battle and have a close tandem battle. On Saturday, the 12th of June, the qualifying and top 32 will be held. On Sunday, the 13th of June, we will see the rest of the battles from top 16 to the final and the awarding ceremony. So at last, only four days are left until the 12th and 13th of June, when FIA Intercontinental Drifting Cup will be held and we will see the winner of the season 2021. Share your predictions in the comments below, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and follow our social media accounts which you can find in the description box. See you next week in the detailed overview of the FIA Intercontinental Drifting Cup 2021. This was Grinia, have a good weekend with FIA ADC.